Alright guys, uh, I've been playing with Hera for like 6 minutes and theory crafting here and there and I think the most impressive thing that you could do with her is... Actually, let me explain some abilities first. Um, the one... It's basically uh, the Scordia 2. You punch, but you can do more damage. Oh shit, hold up. You can do more damage if you hit somebody in f with the front and then the punch as well. Let me show you right here. It's basic damage. It doesn't do any CC. The 2 is a polymorph. And this is a shield that augments Argus. I'll show you Argus in a second. But her passive, it's Argus gets a shit ton of HP, which is 600 per level. So you should always level the ultimate. Argus says he only gets physical protection, so he might be very vulnerable to magical damage. And it doesn't say anything about scaling defense-wise, so he might be very easy to burn out with an ADC. Speed wise, it's very high. Uh, it doesn't say it right here, but it starts with 440. So it's basically you have boots and you ha are faster than anybody with boots. I mean, at level 5, everybody should have boots at that point. So no big no big deal there. Uh, he's a pet. Now, here's the most important part you heal Argus with damage. That's not that big. The biggest part is that you know you want to have Argus up at this all the time. So if he's on cooldown and you do damage, the cooldown lowers right so every time you do damage right that's just that's the thing anytime you do damage so let me su summon argus here you can press forward to on target and just target up like scatty uh, you can activate your three and he does mystical mail damage three three ticks per second that's a lot of damage for example right there it did 15 ticks 675 it's pretty crazy also another thing her scaling it's insane Argus scales, Argus attack scales. It, there's 75% here, 75% here. Argus, it's great. It's just, she has too much scaling. Like if it takes 15 times, 15 times 29, 29 30, 3,000 damage. No, actually, no, that's not 3,000. It's 300 something. I'm freaking dumb. Now here, here is something you may be wondering. Why the hell do I have Mage's Blessing fourth item and Soul Reaver? Well, here it says the passive. Each time her deals damage. So I wonder, mm, okay, that's why she doesn't have tick damage. But what if I add tick damage? 18 seconds, 17 seconds? Oh! There's no cooldown anymore. Did you see that? So basically, it means that any special damage, like for example, the bonus damage, the 10 bonus ability damage, the soul we were procking every time on every ability, those type of damage do matter. And if I were to be stupid and build Mystical Mail or Nemean Lion, for example, that means in Solar Lane, which means she could be a pretty good tank. If, if I build Nemean Lion item, and I build um, Mystical Mail, I'm gonna sell this. And I built Mystical Mail. Alright, watch this happen. Mystical Mail and this. Okay. Let's try with, uh, this guy. Neath. Let's try with Neath. There you go. Yep, it counts. Nemean Lion. Let me get up close. Slowly just getting my cooldown back. Easily. So, every type of, every type of damage matters. I mean, you're not gonna do this build, really. Nemean Lion, Mystical Mail. But the most important part is... Also, I feel like I need, I would love to deactivate Argus. That'd be really awesome. Because what if I want to start resetting the cooldown already? Also, I don't see the timer. It's a nice health bar. But where's my timer? How do I know he's going to get off? Like, get out of here. The tool's really slow. It's fine. It's no big deal. You do the most damage if you get up close, which is... I mean, it's always been the smite thing that it's risk versus reward. If you wanna fight or not. Alright, he's down. 47 seconds. If I hit, let's say, 5 people max. Or do this. I already have the cooldown. So building Soul Reaver and starting Mage's Blessing is your way to go. That's There's no doubt about that.
that's basically it. Let me, let's try a wave clear at level one. Let's see how that goes. That goes down. Oh, uh, let's reset level at. All right, let's reset that level. Oh, uh, so are our items? I mean, if you want to jungle her, that's pretty easy. She has a uh, uh, good damage with her one. Uh, let's start with Mage's Blessing, because I do want that Mage's An Blessing. Fit for royalty. Hit enemies? Each deals damage to gods. Okay, 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 okay. That's not bad. It's not the worst. Then again, I'm hitting Odin bots, for fuck's sakes. But it works out. Uh, let's go start book. Let's go to a minion wave. See what's up. How good her clear will be. So something you should know is that you can throw the minions towards the archers like that and do that damage. Also her basic attacks feel really well. Like they're really smooth. Maybe because I'm, you know, I'm in my own server, my own host, so that could be it. Clear's not the worst. Let's check out our jungle clear as a jungler. I was wondering if her attacks, uh, her, her basic attacks would matter. Oh, I also didn't buy book, book at first. So, or I sold it. Nice. It's pretty standard level 1. I'm sure you should get to clear very soon with, 70, with 75%. One of the small ones, that's not bad. It's normal mage, mage clear. So that shouldn't be too bad. Overall. She's she's gonna be pretty strong. I'm pretty sure. Argus does a lot of damage. I mean, it's okay. With, I mean, if we want to count how much scaling she has. That's pretty easy. Let's do that. Let's see how much scaling scaling she has in total. Oh, let's get something with a hundred, so I can count easier. All right, a hundred. Fit for royalty. So fifteen seventy five. That's um. That's up close. Ninety. Not ninety five. Ninety. 90, 165, uh, 15 times 7.5, quick math, quick math, uh, 1070, half of that, almost around 100, so 200, 265, plus all of these basic attacks, yeah, it's just too much. It's over 400. So her skill is going to be too really strong. So you just have to play it safe, work on your positioning. And hey, as soon as I get a match, because, you know, it's PTS. As soon as I get a match with her, I'll post a link on uh, for my next video on a gameplay with her. So I hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching. And for more info on her, I'm going to be working with her for a, for a while. I mean... It's new content, it's always fun to work around. And finding about the cooldown reset, mm, that's what makes me play this game. I don't know what you were thinking. Goodbye. Have a good one, guys.